The first thing you do in fracking is that you drill vertically, just like traditional um, drilling pro uh, procedures. You drill straight down until you hit the, and actually uh, with this technology, you don't um, wait until you hit your rock. You actually start turning and going horizontal just slightly before you hit the shale. Um, and it, uh, this is about six to 8,000 feet below the surface. And typically it takes about a half mile for them to turn completely from vertical to horizontal. So you need a lot of space in order to do this. Um, so it goes down, straight down, and then it starts to turn. It takes about a half mile from here to here to go from completely vertical to completely horizontal. And then they keep drilling through the rock for a set distance. Okay. Um, now, once they reach their limit of how far they want to go horizontally, the next set step is to case the well. And in this case, what they do is they pump cement down the shaft all the way down. There's a, you know, there's a whole tube here that they put in uh, to do the drilling. Um, and when it gets to the end of the tube, they keep pushing the cement in, and it comes out to the outside of this tube and goes all the way back up to the surface. So they completely cased um, this well in cement. Um, this keeps it open, for one thing, um, and also protects the surrounding rocks from any kind of leakage um, of the natural gas as it comes back out, when they bring it out. All right, so this is the only thing between you and any kind of contamination, is the cement, okay? So they do, they're, if they use the right cement, this works. Um, so they push it all the way down, and it comes all the way back up, so it's all completely cased in cement. Once they have the cement set so that it's, it's hard, it's ready to go, um, then they send down charges. So they send a, a charging set down through here, and they set that in there, and they block it off, all right, and then they set off charges. And the charges shoot up through, up through the rock and down through the rock through that cement lining. Okay, so it's like a, a gunshot that goes out through uh, both sides of the cement casing and cracks and breaks the rock as it goes, okay? Uh, for the most part, it's just pretty much a straight line, all right, just a straight line here, not these little branches that you're seeing now. Once the shot is done, then they send down, um, uh, they send down the, fluid, the fracturing fluid, or what we call the fracking fluid. Now, the fracking fluid is 99.5% water and sand, and the reason they're sending down water and so sand is, uh, first of all, first they want to uh, make those holes bigger. And the best way to do that is to use high pressure water. So you put water down there under high pressure um, and it causes the rock to crack and break. Um, that piece of rock that I'm passing around, you can break that pretty easily if you hit it pretty hard. Um, so high pressure water will crack that and break it very easily, okay? Um, the sand is in the mixture because once you break it, if you just leave it alone, it'll, it, you know, there's 8,000 feet of rock on top here. So it'll basically just, the holes will sort of close back up pretty quickly. The, the weight of the rock above will just close in and close it back down. So the sand is put in there to keep the cracks open. And now you've got a porous material like we're used to, right? Sandstones and things like that are the best source rocks for, for this oil. And uh, for natural gas, same thing. So um, they put this fracking fluid. Now, 99.5% is water and sand, so that's the reason for that. Then there's this 0.5%, which is what we call fracking fluid, and that's proprietary, all right? Every company has their own uh, personal formula for how they want to do this. And the idea here being uh, they send down uh, certain materials that will keep the, uh, um, the equipment clean. So there's usually they use benzene or something like that to keep the materials and the, and the um, machinery uh, moving smoothly. They have gels that help keep the sand moving down the hole quickly. Um, there are all sorts of things that they include, and I'll show you a list in a minute. Um, and every single company has their own special formula that they say is the best formula and gives them the best yield for their, for their bang, right, for their buck. So, um, so the question is, you know, what are they using? And um, they say, no, I'm not going to tell you because we came up with the solution all on our own. We're not going to give it to the general public. Um, so there's a, so they they have to give uh, the EPA a list of um, what chemicals they're using, but they don't tell you what uh, percentage, and they don't tell you whether you're using it in every 
um, shot that they do. So sometimes they might vary, but they have to list all the chemicals that they could potentially use in that fracking fluid. And just so you can see, there's a lot going on on the surface while all this is going on underground. Uh, there have to be trucks to put in the water, um, storage tanks for all the materials uh, that are being pumped down. Uh, there's a lot going on there. All right, this is the proprietary formula for fracking. And uh, here's a, one example of the fracking fluid that is put down the well. It's a gel. The idea is to create something that will flow easily down the well. You've got to get sand down to a very deep depth. All right, and you want to get down quickly and not have it clog your, the hole that you're uh, running it through. So gels are really a really good way to get things down there. And then they want something that will break down quickly while it's down there so that the gas can escape. So if you have a gel down there, it might prevent the gas from escaping. So it has to be something that can break down over a short period of time and then allow the gas to escape back up the hole. So there's benzene, uh, benzoic acid, um, acetylene, acetic acid, uh, you name it, they probably have it in here. Um, calcium chloride, uh, boric, as uh, boric acid. Uh, there's just uh, a huge number of different types of chemicals that are used, and they all have their purpose. Uh, some things are to uh, keep it flowing. Uh, some of it is to prevent a bacteria growth, OK? Uh, there are certain bacteria that will actually eat the natural gas, so you don't want that. You take all the time to get the gas out, and then it gets eaten by the uh, organisms while you're trying to get it out of the hole. Um, so there are all sorts of things that they're trying to uh, prevent or improve, and these are the, the chemicals they're using to do that. All right. We have no idea how much of each they're using, but it's usually only 0.5% of their um, outcome.